The Granddaughter Who Is Eaten by a Big Fish This is a story about Gukum, Cree word for grandmother, and her mischievous granddaughter, Beula. Beula was a very curious little girl. She was always wandering off from the camp looking for adventures. Gukum was always telling her to listen. One day, Gukum asked Beula to get some water from the lake so she could make soup. Whatever you do, don't go swimming in the lake alone, said Gukum. Why not? asked Beula. Because there is a giant fish in that lake, and he will catch you and swallow you up if you swim too far. Yeah, Gukum, I'm not afraid of a big fish. So Beula went off to collect the water. Oh, it was a nice warm day. The sun shone brightly. A squirrel chattered as she walked along the path. Go away, little squirrel. I'm busy. A butterfly flew around the girl. She ran around in circles trying to catch the butterfly until it flew away. Huff! I'm really hot now, Beula said to herself. Finally, Beula came to the lake. She went to the big rock where Gukum had showed her to stand up and get water. She dipped her buckets in the lake. They filled up quickly. Those buckets were heavy now. She had to be careful when she carried them to the shore. They were so heavy. With a cup, she scooped out the little sticks and leaves that flowed on the top, and she was ready to carry them back now. Carrying the buckets made Bayula tired. So she laid down next to the water in a nice spot on a large, flat rock. The sun shone on her. She was very hot, so she took off her shirt. A blue jay landed in a tree next to the path. The blue jay squawked at her. You nosy, no, you noisy old bird, stop disturbing me. The blue jay flew away. Bayula decided to have a quick swim, just to cool off before she took the water back to Gukum. She removed all of her clothes and dived in. The water was nice and cool. Bayula was a good swimmer. She decided she would swim out as far as she could. As she swam out, Bayula saw a huge silver flash in the water. It was a great big fish, and with one gulp, it swallowed her whole. Bayula found she was trapped in the stomach of a huge fish. The huge fish Gukum had warned her about. Oh no, she cried. I should have listened to Gukum. Bayula had been gone a long time. Gukum thought that she had found an adventure and forgotten to get water. There was no point worrying about her. There were chores to be done around the camp. She cut wood and made dinner. When Bayula wasn't home by night, Gukum was a little worried, but she knew the little girl was able to take care of herself in the woods. The next day, Bayula was still not back. Gukum needed food, so she gathered the fishing net and went down to the lake. She caught six fish. One was a huge creature that stretched as long as her arms and more. The fish would feed a whole family for a week. She started cutting up the fish. When she finally got to the big fish, she slid the knife into the belly, and Beola jumped out, very much alive. At first, Gukum was startled, but she quickly realized it was Beola who was covered in head to toe in slimy, sticky fish innards. She shook her head at Beola and began to laugh at her. <laughs> I told you not to swim in the lake. Bayula bowed her head and said nothing. She just went to the lake to clean off all the smelly fish slime.